Hey YouTube, Maxi2021 here coming at you with another unboxing video, this time for uh, Summon Night 6 Lost Borders Wonderful Edition. Um, this was originally announced back in uh, July 2016, specifically for the English release. The game came out last year, I believe, and... Uh, it was slated to release over here in February of this year, but it didn't get a uh, official release until Halloween because of several delays or whatever. Uh, they had a special uh, deal where if you placed a pre-order within a certain amount of time right after the announcement was made, you could get the wonderful edition for like around 125 as opposed to the um, standard $150, $150 price. But, uh, man, yeah, let's just go right ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's move this. Let's see, what's it say? Okay, Roman numerals for 2017. Thank you, Summon Night Six Lost Borders. Wonderful edition. Nice wrapping paper. This is uh, currently the fifth entry in the Summon Night series to get an official English English release. With the other ones being uh, Summon Night 5 on PSP, Summon Night Swordcraft Story 1 and 2, both on Game Boy Advance. And uh, a third one, I forget the name of it, but it was on DS. At least I'm pretty sure one of the ones on DS got an English release. But um, that one and the two Swordcraft Story games were spinoffs. And this is the second mainline entry to get an English release, more or less. So there's the front cover. And it's the 15th anniversary. And um, this was... I mean, the English release was done by Gaijin Works. They also did uh, the English release for Summon Night 5 and I think one or two other games. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to need both hands. All right, we're back. I got it out of the box successfully without really tearing the uh, paper. It's really nice paper. Okay, so again, here's the front of the box here's the right side one of the main characters oh i wonder if that is the number indicating which um order i mean which uh order mine is because these were supposed to be numbered or something and one of the other main characters scenery Let's see what's on the top. Well, there's the third main character. Uh, if you ordered this through Amazon or GameStop for the uh, regular not collector's edition, you could get um, one of three versions, where essentially one of the three main characters that are on the sides and top of the box would be on the disc and there's these little dudes on the bottom and uh here's the little pull string ribbon some more scenery and let's get into what comes with the wonderful edition and why it costs so much okay so first off a art book with a dust jacket and a little ribbon thing. That's a official 15th anniversary series commemorative premium art book. I'm guessing it's going to cover every entry in the series, including the spinoffs. It's pretty cool. Yeah, 2016. So I guess it really did come out last year, at least in Japan. Got this little big poster. That's also double-sided. No, let's open this real quick.
She's going crazy. Well, I guess she lost interest in the box. Ah. Alright, I unfolded it. Here's... No, let me flatten it a little. Wait, let me move it over. Oh, sorry, baby. Uh, yeah, here's... One side of the poster pretty freaking big. Got three main characters and three little plushy dudes. Speaking of which, uh, it comes with one of these three little dudes. You can get a pink one, a blue one, which is the one I got, or a gray one. I hear the gray one is the rarest of the three. So I was hoping to get that one, but, uh... Maybe I can find it on eBay or something. Or just order uh, another collector's edition. No, I'm not going to do that. Here's the reverse side. Hmm, not sure which side I like more. Alright. Let's fold this back up. Okay, yeah, there's a little plushy. I honestly forgot what these little dudes are called. I might open it later. Uh, it's got a little hat with wings on it. And a little uh, puckered lips or something in a tie. That's cool. And here's the game. They also released uh, Summer Night 6 on Vita. And Gaijin Marks did the uh, Vita version as well for the English release. Description. Oh, and for those that don't know... Anything about the series, the mainline entries are uh, tactical RPGs like um, Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem or Advance Wars or Disgaea. Mm, 7.5 gigs, not bad. PS4 Pro Enhanced. Oh, cool, you can connect between the Vita version and this version. That's neat. Okay, let's read this real quick. One of Japan's most popular RPG series is finally available here, but it, this is unlike any RPG you've ever played, because friendships and affinity play a central role in forming a strategic battle machine to take down the evil in your path. Pick a main character and play as little or as much as you want of over 100 battle scenarios featuring tons of cool summon spells and all-new summon bursts as you work towards over 30 possible endings. Holy shit, 30 endings? Wow, that's a lot. Upgrade, downgrade, equip, and buff your characters. They say battle through an interdimensional quest you won't soon forget. I'm pretty sure summoning stuff has a uh, integral part in um, gameplay. Okay, so there's the game. Comes with uh, an official deluxe soundtrack. Through main characters, three little plushy dudes. Some of Night Six deluxe soundtrack. That's dope. Let's see how many tracks. Okay, sixteen tracks on disc one. Oh wait, no, it's just thirty-three tracks in total. And it's a. I believe it's two disc track, I mean two disc uh, OST soundtrack. And then lastly, you get a set of coasters. Let's open this bad boy up. Wait, let's see if there's anything on the side. Nope. Not really much, just symbols. Alright. Ooh, must be one of the summons you can summon. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Whoa! Oh shit, a pen! That's pretty awesome. I love pens. Uh. Okay, I found how to open it. Mm, there's another summon, I guess. Hey, what's that say? Oh, uh, let's just go. Oh, oh, that must be my uh, order number. 
It says SN6 WE0030. Oh, sweet. I think I got number 30 for my order. Eh, nothing in the box. Uh, let me. Give me one second. I extracted the coasters. Let's see if I can do this without really damaging the paper because I don't want to use these. I, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's got the game logo. Oh, I see how they did the paper. One of the main characters. I was expecting these to be metal, but they're just uh, made of rubber, I think. Second main character. And the lastly, the third main character. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much... Ooh. Uh, okay, it's got little magnet strips. Okay, there's some... Summon creatures, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Was it worth the wait? I'd say it was. Though I'm sure they might have been able to release it much sooner, but... Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's finally here. Been waiting well over a year for this, but, uh... Yeah, that's... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot one thing. They have a, uh, manual in here. I completely forgot about the, uh, manual, which is supposed to be super massive. Or, at least... Oh, yeah, it's 73 pages, about 75 pages long. One of the, uh, biggest manuals out there, according to Gaijin Marks. Um, yeah, let's see the cover. There's this cover, and then a rubber cover. Essentially, what's on the, um, the manual, uh, yeah. And there's the disc. That's, uh, pretty much it now. I don't believe I forgot anything, so, um, thanks for watching, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I can, uh, yeah, see you in the next video, which should be soon, I think, uh, yeah.